Danger Dolan. From footpaths filled with blood and dead bodies, to prison fields full of murder, we count 10 weird and creepy things found strewn all over the world of Warcraft. Number 10. Let's start off with a comment from Willy the Chili. For me it's Thaddeus in Naxxramas. Hearing the screams used to scare me so much I could not sleep well for 2 days, and I did not go back to Naxxramas for 2 months. After I came back, I made sure I went to the Construct Quarter first, to kill him and end the screaming. This comes from the final raid of Vanilla WoW, or the first raid from Wrath, the lair of Kel'Thuzad and his undead minions. As you clear Naxxramas, a lot of players noticed every so often, the background music would be punctuated by terrified screams and voices crying for help. These are emanating from Thaddeus, the final boss in the construction quarter, a Frankenstein-like monster that is, as described in the game, built from the flesh of women and children, and said that their souls are fused together, eternally bound within a foul prison of flesh. The women and children screaming throughout all of Nax are coming from Thaddeus. Number 9. Skeletons. You're gonna find these in the blasted lands atop a large hill. At least four skeletons sitting around a Twilight Tamer portal with jars between their legs. They're looking towards the sky as if witnessing something before their inevitable demise. Likewise in Blasted Lands, you're gonna find bodies on another hill carrying weapons, weeping and yelling, solidified on the spot. Totally creepy. Number 8. We have a comment here from Rantames. Ever actually watched some of the Null Tents? Well, you should, because some of them have human faces on them. Like, really. So if you're ever walking through somewhere like Elwyn Forest, you're going to come across these Null Tents all the time. But it's only on close inspection you realize that they're actually made with the skin from Citizens of Azeroth. And also in Razor and Downs, you'll find similar tops made with faces, but with a human, or ogre, or other gnolls, it's difficult to tell for sure. Number 7. The Fell Reaver. We all remember questing around Hellfire Peninsula at the start of Burning Crusade, and suddenly the ground starts shaking, some kind of earthquake. Then you hear this sound. You turn around and you get squashed by the Fell Reaver. Once you've quested there a few times, it's not so scary, but the mini heart attack seeing a giant skull level robot running towards you is terrifying enough. Nowadays, you're going to find plenty of Fel Reaver corpses from players seeking long overdue revenge. Number 6. We have a comment here from Larry Cakes. The scariest thing in WoW is by far the Moonguard Goldshire Inn. Naked characters everywhere, lesbian sex going on in every corner, when in reality, it's a 12 year old kid behind the screen, and the dreaded druids in bear form coming to fuck your day up in more ways than one. So nobody knows when this one started, but videos has started cropping up around 2009, showcasing all the lewd activities and sexual roleplay happening 24-7. Literally 24-7. You can go there right now, and I guarantee you're gonna find female night elves, draenei, humans, and worgen dancing in just about every room. There's even a character called Mayor Banks, who claims himself to be the official mayor of Goldshire, with a backstory wiki page detailing how he came into power. Mayor of the creepiest online roleplay server imaginable. Number 5. The Path of Glory. Most people, when they zone into Hellfire, are too taken aback by the surreal sights, the hundreds of demons and the crazy skybox, that they never look down at their feet while walking the Path of Glory. On closer inspection, the reddish path is covered in blood, and the white lines are skeletons. The skeletons of all the Draenei is killed by orcs when they ravage their people under the influence of the demon lord Kil'jaeden. Something to glance at next time you decide to walk over the remains of their people to do some quests. Number 4. We have a comment here from El Dudulo. The sludge fields in Hillsbrad Foothills is apparently being called the Auschwitz of Azeroth, because it kind of resembles a concentration camp. In the theme of an undead zone, you're going to find this prison-like questing area for Horde, in which you'll find humans buried up to their faces, titled Human Seedlings. Your quest is to either dig them out, or bash their faces in until they die. It's entirely up to you. There's also dead rotting bodies floating on chains above you held by noose ropes. Bit of a messed up creepy ass place. Number 3. Upside Down Karazhan. Those rotting bodies actually came from here, a super creepy place in WoW, long rumoured and still around. 
We've been clamoring for more Karazin since it showed up at the start of Burning Crusade, and we've seen rumors about an upside down version. Instead, we've got this eerie crypt buried beneath Karazin full of corridors, but the entrance is blocked off in the game. If you exploit your way inside, you're gonna find upside down sinners resting in a pool of water. Certainly the creepiest area in WoW by far. Number two, we have a comment from Blair XOXO. I know this is really popular, but the children in Goldshire, they never stop making a pentagram all orbiting the one child Cameron and their creepy little house where you can hear Banshee screams and the very popular, you will die, creeps me out every time I run into them. So at 7 a.m. server time, six children will spawn and walk around, all the while forming a pentagram formation. Inside their room in Goldshire Inn, you're gonna hear growling, a banshee scream, a ghoul call, and a whisk buff from Cthulhu. You will die. To this day, nobody really knows why it happens. It's been said it alludes to Diablo, their other gaming franchise, certainly one of the more unsettling easter eggs in WoW. Number one. Old Gods, taken straight from Lovecraftian literature, a series of mysterious godlike horrors buried deep beneath the surface of Azeroth. So far, we've only found two old gods, Cthulhu controlling the events of Ankaraj and yogg at Alduar. Yasaraj was slain at Pandaria and the Shah represent his former self. Enzoth, we've only heard rumors about, the being responsible for corrupting Deathwing and infecting the Emerald Dream. And there's at least one more we have not heard from yet. You might notice from the images getting displayed on the screen, that these things look like evil, crazy, nonsensical death machines. And they pretty much are. Here's a couple of my favorite quotes. The monster in your, your nightmares. nightmares. The, the fiend of a, of a thousand faces. Cower before my true form. Bow down before the god of death. Your heart will explode. A thousand deaths. Or one murder. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one.